this chair looks so badass. I'm really loving the green accents throughout the whole chair. And if you're familiar with gaming products, I'm sure just by looking at the chair that I'm sitting on, you can already tell it's a Razer gaming product. So with lots of customizability to conform to your stature and a good balance between support and comfort, let's take a closer look at the Razer Anki gaming chair. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another review and today we are taking a look at the Razer Anki gaming chair. My time with it so far has been around approximately a month and after sitting it for a month, I can safely say that it's one of the better supported gaming chairs out there. So just looking at it, overall the design is very similar to a lot of other gaming chairs out there in such a way that it adopts uh, sort of a race car bucket seat design and I like some of the aesthetic choices like the uh, gaps over here and I don't think it does very much in terms of uh, functionality but it looks really cool and I guess apart from it um, the whole experience of using the chair all the way from building to the end product when sitting on it has been really fun and Razer has made it very interesting in such a way that even building it you can find like a lot of really cool little features like the builder's gloves that they included inside the box and some jokes if you notice along the way. So in terms of building this chair, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes. There weren't very many parts to um, put together but I would say recommended you should have one more person with you just to help you fix the chair because it is quite a heavy chair. So in terms of the overall design of the chair, it's relatively kept quite simple. So like I mentioned before, there are some stylistic choices that are put throughout the chair like the green stitching and the synthetic leather which feels really nice to touch on your skin. As well as this leather strip that flows down from the backrest all the way to the seat. And in terms of the cushion, uh, Razer has used this PU molded foam that is sort of stitched in a diamond pattern which is quite nice to feel and they're quite cushiony. And it is also worthy to point out that the foam density is a lot stiffer on the backrest than on the seat so you get more of a support for your lower back and your upper back as well. So even though this chair doesn't have a customizable adjustable lumbar support, it is built in, I would say that the curvature and the amount of support that it gives is just the right amount. And what I mean by that is, the lumbar support doesn't protrude out too much of the chair where it will make it really awkward for you to sit down and it's not too shallow and it gives you just the right amount of support. In addition to the support of the back, the seat base is also quite unique. I haven't actually experienced another chair that has this design and what I mean is that the chair base has sort of a curvature and it lifts your thighs towards the end of the seat base slightly which gives you more of a molded support and uh, in addition to the lumbar support, it kind of distributes your weight very evenly which I really enjoy. And in terms of the seat width, you're getting around 21 inches which I would say is not exactly too wide or too short. So just to give you guys a perspective, I'm around 177 cm and just sitting on it, I can safely cross my legs and sort of sit cross-legged or even one leg up on the leg and I don't feel any discomfort when I'm using it over long periods of time. Alright, so just to give you guys a heads up, the Anki gaming chair does come with a memory foam cushion. However, the version, the chair that Razer sent out to me didn't come with it, so I'm unable to give you guys my opinion on it. But even without the memory foam cushion, I would say that the chair does come up quite high. So like I mentioned before, I'm uh, about 177cm and safely sitting on this chair, the headrest actually supports me really nicely. So even if I want to lounge back and chill, right, I still get the support that I need. So let's go over some of the features and specs that the chair has. So much like a lot of gaming chairs out there, you get your standard reclining feature, you get your movable arm desk and there are 4D armrests as well as being height adjustable. So uh, let's go through a little bit more in detail. So in terms of the reclining feature, you get up to 152 degrees recline. So one of the things that I wanted to test out was how sturdy this chair is. So even when I lean back all the way to 152 degrees um, and releasing the tilt lever, right? I would say, I can say that the chair is built very sturdy. It's so constructed, it's so well constructed in such a way that even leading all the way back and when I have my hands raised up, rocking around, I didn't feel like I was going to tilt over or fall over. So kudos to Razer on that. There's also a tilt adjustment tension uh, knob at the bottom of the chair where you can sort of like tilt it to release the tension. If you're not as uh, heavy as myself or if you are like different of a different weight, you can adjust the tension and it can 
you can just tilt back really nicely which is also a really cool feature that I enjoy in this chair. In terms of the armrest, it is a 4D armrest and what I mean by that is that you can adjust the height, you can adjust the width, the length of it, where you want to position. So uh, fret not if you are of a different stature, if you are smaller or if you are bigger in size, I'm sure you can find just the right setting to use this chair. One thing that I found quite interesting about the Anki gaming chair is that um, in terms of the height adjustability, so the chair does come with um, a lever where you can adjust its height but at its lowest it's around 47 centimeters which isn't very very low and just to give you guys some perspective when i'm using the chair on my desk so my desk is about a height of 75 cm i just have it at its lowest setting and i can comfortably use it but if you are if you have desks that are like slightly lower than 75 cm or if you are shorter this might be a little issue but fret not because of the 4d armrest you can adjust the height and you can safely just screw, uh, roll into the table and you can still use it very comfortably. So the maximum height of the chair is 57 cm, which is very high for a normal gaming chair. And for me, at uh, 1.7 meters, right, I can sit on the chair at this higher setting and my legs will be dangling off. So if you're really tall, um, this chair will definitely suit your needs if you're using it to game or if you're using it to work from home. Overall, I would say the Razer Anki gaming chair does give me quite a bit of support when I'm sitting upright and it promotes me to sit in a sort of a like balanced neutral position so I don't get aches over long periods of time. However, if there's one thing I would note out about the chair is that um, even though the cushions are not the softest in the market, right, the fabric that they use on the cushions does create a bit of friction and too much in my opinion. But the benefit of that is that when you're sitting on the chair, you don't slide around that often because if some chairs, you know, when you're sitting over long periods of time or if you're in a sort of uh, tilted position, your butt would move slightly and it would make your back like go out of balance from sitting on the chair which causes aches over long periods of time. But with the friction of the fabric, for people that might be used to wearing shorts at home or like shorter shorts, the fabric does feel quite abrasion-y on your skin and uh, it creates a bit of discomfort for me. So when I tend to use this chair, I feel like most of the time I would wear longer shorts or even long pants or like uh, joggers when I'm sitting on the chair because of this small issue. But don't get me wrong though, it is very cozy and it's one of the coziest chairs that I've tried in the market. And I guess like overall, I don't have any um, like bad opinions about the chair. It's just that the fabric choice um, might be an issue for some people out there. So for the price of the chair, you will be expecting to pay $700 for the chair as well as the builder's gauntlets that come with it. So uh, if you're looking for other colors, they also come with two other colors. So this is the green version with the green stitching as well as the green razor logo. So you have the full black version as well if black is your aesthetic. And quite interestingly, they included a quartz color version which is a fully pink colored chair which I guess if pink is your aesthetic or if you're a female or if you're a male that likes pink you can definitely try to um, look into that. So in terms of my overall experience and uh, my opinions about the chair I guess it is I, I have a lot of good things to say about the chair and really kudos to Razer for creating such a chair with um, really good support as well as the construction of the chair is so sturdy and robust. I highly recommend it for gamers out there or if you are just someone that likes to work from home um, for long hours, definitely try to check out this chair and if you can sit on it, I would highly recommend you to try out before you purchase it. So we've come to the end of this video and I hope that you guys have found some insights on whether you should purchase this chair and if it's suitable for your needs. So I just want to mention that Razer is not sponsoring this video in any way so everything that I'm sharing in this video, my personal thoughts and opinions are mine and mine only. And as usual, definitely do check us out on social media if you can. And if you enjoy this kind of content or if you want to see more of my content, you can also find me on YouTube or Instagram. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this Ryan Mamba's perspective and I'll see you guys in the next one.